Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video, and I'm having a pretty crappy day right now, considering my car is not starting. I went to uh, get some laundry done, and, uh, you know, drop off some laundry, got back to my car, and uh, try to start it up, and nothing, it's not cranking, no, nothing. Um... Well, it's not cranking. It's not nothing. I mean, I'm I'm uh, I'm seeing lights on my dash, so a lot you know a lot of things are working, but it's just not cranking over. So I've been spending like last hour, you know, trying to figure out what it is. Well, basically, the last thirty minutes, thirty five, forty minutes, and uh, last twenty minutes, uh, I'm just been waiting for Tripway to uh, uh, tow my car. Well, the thing about it is, um, I went through a bunch of different, uh, trying to diagnose the issue and stuff like that. So, basically, um, all, all the lights work on my car. You no, know, all the electronics work on my car. The, the lights work on my car. The, uh, you know, the fan, the fan motor works. You know, I'm not getting AC, obviously, but the fan motor works. Uh, fan motor works. Lights work. And uh, I'm sitting in my car because I can't start up. It won't start up. Now, I can't say this like the first time it's happened. I mean, recently, within like the last month, I've been having these situations where I've had to try to, you know, try to crank it a couple of times before I start up. I'd have to try to try to, try to start it a couple of times before it would actually crank and, and start up. But every time, like after like five or six times, five or six tries, it would actually start up. That was like the last time. Uh, first time this started happening was like a month and a half ago. You know, um, same situation. I parked my car, got into my car, tried to start it up, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, it uh, it w wouldn't start up on me. <clears throat> same scenario here, but uh, you know, two tries later, it started up. But it's been getting progressively worse. It's been it's been getting progressively worse. So, but right today, it, I think it just died out on me, really crappy. So, a lot of things went through my head when this happened. I was like, maybe. The battery's dead. I don't know why the battery's dead because I've been driving all day, so it should be charged up if it was weak or whatever. Maybe it's just weak. Maybe the battery's just weak. Maybe I, I have bad. Maybe I should have just changed the battery. But I changed the battery like about a year ago. So why would I? Why would I have a dead battery? Regardless, um, I went out. You know, checked this. You know, turn on my headlights. Went out. Try to see whether my headlights were working or not. Where they were dim, but they were like super bright. So I'm like, my headlights are super bright. All my electronics work. I'm like, what is the problem with this? But I, I can't actually, I couldn't actually rule out the battery completely. So uh, I did manage to get somebody to uh, try to jump my car, put some cables on it, waited for a couple of minutes before I try to start up. You know, try to crank it a couple of times. No crank, just a click, just a click. So I hear is click every time, every time, every time I try to start a click, no crank, just click, click, click. So I'm like, <clears throat> all right. So obviously at that point, I know it's not the battery because uh, I tried to jump it, <clears throat> it didn't work. Not the battery, alternator. Could it be the alternator? Mm, no, no, I don't think it's the alternator. <clears throat> Basically, I've had situations where my alternator died out. And, and uh, all, all those situations, I've been on the road. All those situations, two of those situations, um, which is the only two times where my alternator died out what I, that I've experienced with. Anyway, my car was running. I know for a fact that alternators um, die out when your car is running, for the most part. <laughs> but um, if, that wasn't, if that wasn't the case, um, putting cables to the battery to try to jump it, if it was the alternator was dead, it would actually, the car would actually turn on. But once you take the cables off, the car would actually die. Which, none of those things happen in this situation. So, I'm going to rule out the alternator completely. I'm going to rule out the battery completely. Oh, got those out of the way. So, I'm like, alright. So, the easiest fix is... wasn't working. I, I couldn't get this car fixed easily. So, like, so I'm going to think to myself, what else? What else could actually cause this to happen? Um... So it could either be it could either be the fuse or the relay. 
well, those are the no, those are the next two up on my list as far as troubleshooting a fuse or or a relay. So I'm like <clears throat> thinking to myself, is it a relay? Is it a relay? And uh, I doubt it's a relay because you know that click, that click is actually coming from the solenoid. So I'm pretty sure it's not the relay. All right, it's not the relay because uh, the the relay the the starter relay actually relays electricity from the uh, you know from the battery to the starter and if the relay was gone trying to uh, turn it on you would not hear a click at all you would just hear silence so as long as I as long as you hear a click it's not the relay so I'm thinking to myself okay so <clears throat> one last quick fix a fuse maybe so I've had two scenarios where the fuse uh, blew, blew out on me and um, none of neither of those scenarios is similar to what I'm having situations with right now so one scenario was <coughs> um the main fuse blew out that connects the battery to the fuse box and that fuse was inside the fuse box itself it blew out so i was getting nothing uh it was i was getting uh no electricity in the car it's as if uh, you know somebody took the battery out of the car and uh, i was trying to start it. like nothing no battery uh, nothing, no lights, no nothing, no electrics, nothing works, no cranks, nothing. But that's not the case here. <clears throat> not the case here. So I could rule that out. The other one is um, I had a few fuse, fuse situation where the fuse blow blew out, and I kept on cranking, and when it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't turn over. It'll crank up, it won't turn over. So that situation was, um, I believe, it was the fuse to the to the fuel pump. I think that was it. I think it was either that or, or, or to the uh, ECU, the car's computer, fuel pump or ECU, whatever that fuse was, the car wouldn't, uh, t you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't run. It, it would crank, turn over. Wait, 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 it would crank, but it wouldn't turn over where, you know, the car would run. That's not the situation here because it's not cranking at all. This car's not cranking at all. So that's the situation. So I'm like thinking to myself, what, okay, so this last this last situation, the last thing on the list that I could think of, possibly think of at this point, <coughs> is the starter. Now, I, now that wasn't like higher on the list because it wasn't higher on the list because um, I had the starter changed out about a year ago, maybe less than a year, maybe like nine months ago, eight months ago, I don't know, but I had it changed out, all right, recently. Relatively recently, like nine, eight, 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 nine months ago, I had it changed out. All right, I had a starter issue, and uh, all the same symptoms that I'm having today. But I, 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 I was hoping that this wasn't the case; that it wasn't the starter because I had the starter changed out. And uh, apparently, at this point, um, and, you know, everything I, I ruled everything out else out. So it's got to be the starter, right? It's got to be the starter. You hear a click. You know, um, and it's not it's not cranking, nothing like that. It's got to be started. I, I can't think of anything other, but, but I can't test that. I mean, I can't, uh, I can't, I mean, I can't test it. I don't have, I actually have a crowbar to bump it, see if it actually starts up one last time. Um, I mean, it, it might, considering it's a new starter, if, it, if that's the problem. And the other test is I could actually wire battery, wire battery, wire, put, put a wire from the battery to, uh, the, the solenoid, I think it's like the, the terminal on a solenoid to try to jump it, to try to start it. And if it make noise, then I, I, I know that, you know, it's not the starter. But <clears throat> at this point, um, I don't have the tools to do either of those things. And uh, I'm waiting for, I'm actually waiting for AAA to come in and, and pick up my car. Um, and and I'll, I'll figure that out. Uh, when I when I get a tow back home, so uh, the situation really really sucks. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you guys um, updated on this. Uh, I'm pretty sure at this point it's the starter. I was hoping it wasn't the starter, but I'm pretty sure it's the starter at this point. But uh, uh, stay tuned, guys. All right, I'll, I'll all right, guys. What's up? So it was a starter. I did a couple of tests on it. Um, I you know after I got back home. Um, I actually bumped it with a crowbar, a long crowbar, and it, it didn't start up. So I did actually put a wire from the battery to uh, the, the terminal, the solenoid, 
Um, that didn't start it up. That didn't start it up. So at that point, I knew it was the starter. <clears throat> and uh, I did change the starter out. It's working back to normal again. And uh, the only thing, the only thing about it is, I didn't want to put the time into in, into this. I really didn't. Uh, considering, um, you know, I, I did get. Get, I did get a replacement because there was a warranty on it. I did get a replacement for free, but that wasn't the point. I told the guy at the counter, these 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 these, um, these starters they're supposed to last like over a hundred thousand miles. But <clears throat> but if you guys know anything about starters um, or, or rebuilt, you guys know anything about rebuilt stuff, rebuilt starters, rebuilt alternators. Um, if you guys ever have experiences with that. You guys know that they don't actually rebuild um, or they don't rebuild all, all, all of it. They only they only replace the one single part that's broken. Every every other part on that alternator starter um, actually has the same mileage that you know that was on the car when it was taken off, which is which is really crazy. But um, I actually went back, got another rebuilt starter because I didn't want to shell out three hundred dollars for a brand new one. And even a brand new one, you can't be hundred percent sure about that. So, popped it in. It's um, it's working normally now. So I, I don't. Uh, it's working normally now. So you know, it, that doesn't suck. But it sucked that I had to. I actually had to waste so much time. I had to waste so much time on that. You know, like not not a lot of time, but you know, I didn't want to take some time on my day to to uh, to redo a part. That was done nine months ago. That's supposed to last, you know, well over a hundred thousand miles. It sucks. It is what it is. Um, I hope this has helped you guys out. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe and uh, please leave your comment, guys. Okay. All right. Take care.